아, 나, 나, 나. 밤 12시에 집을 가던 안 가던 떡볶이로 새끼를 채우건 말건 내가 아직아 잘 지내건 말건 Hi everyone, welcome back to Joan Day. As you guys can see, the shelf is finally here. I have been waiting for this piece of furniture for the past six weeks. It took some time because they needed to make it and this is basically a mock fireplace and I thought this would be perfect for this little corner right here. And so today I will be decorating this space with some candles and I'm going to frame this Desenio artwork as well and I think I'm going to let it lean on the wall instead of pinning it down. And a lot of you guys might be curious about why I keep purchasing furniture and to be honest with you, there are two reasons. One, it's because I have been spending a lot of time at home like a lot of you guys and so because I spend a lot of time at home, I just want to better my living space and also create more, I guess, filming corners. So part of it is for Joan Day because I want my space to look really nice for you guys. And two, um, it's because I think I'm going to stay at this apartment. So might as well just rearrange everything and I guess purchase new furnitures because um, I mentioned this before, but I was supposed to move because we signed this place for one year, but I honestly don't want to move again because it gets really expensive because we got to pay the agent, we have to pay the movers, and there's just like so much work involved and I have a lot of stuff. So good news is we talked to the landowner and he was okay with the idea of us re-signing. So we're deciding if we want to sign for one or two years. Uh, but I really like this space and because I got to spend a lot of time here, um, I don't know, the new corners and new furniture really changed this space. So if you guys were curious about what's going to happen, um, I don't think you guys are going to get a moving vlog this year. We're going to stay here and um, I don't know if I'm going to upgrade any more furniture. The only thing I can think of is my bed um, because I kind of want to get like a nice frame for it. But other than that, I'm really satisfied with my living room as you guys saw in this vlog right here. So today I'm just going to decorate this space and probably get some cleaning done because once I start with one corner, I tend to branch out and clean the other parts of the house. So it's going to be a productive one, hopefully. All right, let's start rearranging this space right here. So we're going to start by taking this poster down because I want to frame it. Because the walls are concrete, we have to use needles and pins to um, hang up our posters. But the frames have been really nice and a lot of you guys were fascinated by the needle pins for my frames in my room and you could actually buy that at Daiso. So I got a lot of questions about that and the answer is we got ours at Daiso. First, let's frame the artwork kind of like the ones in my room right now. I really like these IKEA frames. We got them for like less than $10. Such a steal because other places sell big frames for like $60, $80. And so I'm very happy about this.
Wow, it smells so good in this little corner right here because of all of the home fragrances. But I think I'm okay with how it looks right now. I don't know, I'm probably gonna change it around here and there. Um, everyone with this mock fireplace usually changes it by the mood. So uh, you guys will see in future John Day vlogs, I guess, to see how it changes. Um, I am gonna move this piece somewhere else. I don't know where yet. Um, it was just too cluttered up here. So I'm going to move this somewhere else. Um, other than that, I'm just gonna get some editing done. Now that I'm uploading two vlogs a week, I am a lot busier because I like to get ahead. So um, I'm gonna get some editing done and I believe I have a few packages on its way. So I'm gonna do like an unboxing. This is gonna be a very casual Joan Day vlog, I can tell. I do have a lot of empties that I saved up for my main channel, but I am taking a break on my main channel if it wasn't obvious. I just wanted to focus more on Joan Day because a lot of you guys seem to enjoy Joan Day and I actually have been enjoying it editing for Joan Day a lot this year. So I decided to just fully commit to one channel. So hope you guys understand, but maybe I will do like quick empties review. It's been a while since I collected these empties, so I might not even remember how much I like the products, we'll see, um, we'll play by ear. All right, let's edit and then wait for the packages. And I guess I might do the empties review depending on how much time we have. Um, I mean, I have the whole day, but 2020 again. All right, let's move on. No, no, just gonna set it down right here. All right, let's start editing. are here it is time to unbox them and we'll start with this small one right here this is from midnight moment I actually hurt my thumb while arranging the frame earlier so that's why I have this band-aid on okay so they're from midnight moment it's a jewelry brand based in Seoul wow they sent me a bunch of pieces. We have earrings, necklaces, extra baggies, and more necklaces. These are really nice because they're easy to layer and they sent me so many different colors. So thank you so much. I can't wait to sell this. I feel like I could wear one of them right now. This one. This is so pretty. Oh, yeah, very simple. I love it. Now I'm gonna move on to this big box right here because it's fashion related as well. This is from Revolve and Revolve ships their pieces really quickly. Like I ordered this on like Wednesday and it arrived on Friday. I don't know if that's the case for everyone, but this came so fast and I was like very impressed. So first we have this black dress from House of Harlow. House of Harlow, I believe, is Nicole Richie's line and you can buy it on Revolve. So this is a piece that I ordered. I think she made me at the college. Her friends play my songs and they've been following me. I also ordered denim shorts from Girlfriend, one of my favorites. I just love the fit of Girlfriend jeans, so I ordered the shorts. dancing. Love that is not that romantic. Yeah. I don't have no time for no antics. And jeans. These are the popular Carolina jeans. Go ahead, wipe me down. She don't doubt a man. Cause he ain't lock it down. Hey. And one more from Girlfriend. I ordered a denim jacket. I know it is a bit too hot to wear this right now, but it's been on and off right now. Like in the nighttime, it is really cold and I don't know, I just really like a good denim jacket and you could roll up the sleeves so um, you could adjust it to however you want. So I ordered a denim jacket. For drama. Yeah. 
big smile, get it from my love. Hey, please, that's your shoes for you get my heart. Uh, looking like. I ordered a cotton mask from, I believe this is LPA. Yes, it says I miss you on it. So let me show you guys. It's a reusable cotton mask that says I miss you. In Korea, they usually wear the KF80 and 94, um, but I wanted to get a reusable mask as well, so I ordered a mask. You can get your friends, it's a party. And finally, I ordered these lovely shorts from Song of Style. Um, I actually don't own any of the Song of Style pieces yet, but I'll probably wear this one a lot because it just looks super comfortable. And uh, I know for a fact that I'll be wearing this a lot because I've been wearing a lot of comfy shorts lately, more than denim. So um, you'll probably see these a lot. Not around. Y'all hit the ground when you walk around Looking like, look like art, look like art Moving on to some beauty products that I received First we have a box from Neogen There's another box in here And here we have their brand new probiotics line I actually use their double serum. Um, I, I do this because there are two pumps, so you can use phase one or phase two. Their serum and cream has this very nice, cool, watery, lightweight consistency, and it's honestly perfect for the summer. So I'm excited to try the rest of their products. We have the toning pad, their youth repair cream, um, their emulsion and mist. This is like an oil mist, so I saw pictures of this and I really wanted to try it. And during the summer, I always like to carry a mist around. So it looks like this and there's like this pink oil, like, I don't know if you guys can see it, but you basically have to shake it so that it mixes in well. My skin definitely looks a lot more hydrated after this. Um, but it does have that same sweet scent as the cream that I have tried. Um, yeah, I'll probably keep this one by my desk when I'm editing. So, recycle this. And then we have the Probiotics Relief Mask. So, um, I'll probably try out the line sometime this summer because, um, like I mentioned before, it's like a perfect lightweight line for the summer. So, stay tuned. Finally, we have this box from Soko Glam and I've actually been waiting for this because Charlotte talked to me about this new skincare line that she has been working on and so uh, let's open this up first. Here we have a Soko Glam shopping bag and inside it we have the Good Skin Days line. So I honestly am mostly excited for this cleanser because when it comes to cleansing, Charlotte really recommends the best ones. That's how I discovered Neogen actually because she recommended the green tea foam cleanser and then I love the Then I Met You cleansing balm and I also discovered double cleansing through Soko Glam because um, I think I like read a blog post or watched a video or something. I don't really remember but the Vanilla Co cleansing balm that's how I discovered double cleansing and so Soko Glam I trust Charlotte with cleansing recommendations and so here we have the a new leaf cream cleanser and there's mugwort celery and green tea gently removes makeup cleans pores and impurities non stripping I am very excited about this cleanser and so I'm just going to leave this one out we also have the prime time cleansing toner and this preps and hydrates cleans and exfoliates pumpkin and papaya enzymes low ph formula looks like this oh um i watched her um talk about it and i believe that if you like the sonnen park beauty water or the aquel licorice toner she said that we're probably gonna like it and I actually really like the Sonnen Park Beauty Water as well as the Aqual Toner so I can't wait to try this out as well. Wow, so many new skincare products to try out. 
how are we gonna do this? One at a time. But Neogen products as well as Soko Glam recommendations, I never really broke out. And I did mention in today's live that I don't break out as much anymore unless it is that time of the month, but not as much as before. So my skin has just been looking really healthy lately. So um, yeah, I'm not really worried about reactions, but I am still being careful because I do react to certain products and um, yeah, I do have sensitive skin still. So uh, yeah, moving on, we have the Good Skin Days on the Bright Side Moisturizer. This has rice ferment and probiotics. So probiotics is definitely an ingredient that we are seeing a lot in Korean skincare. But wow, I really like this packaging. This is the moisturizer. And then finally, we have the Seize the Day Serum. And this is 10% pure vitamin C and Camu Camu. And um, vitamin C is also something that I discovered because of Charlotte. She recommended the Claire's Vitamin C and I got to try it because Wish transcended over and then um, my love for vitamin C started afterwards and she recommended a lot of great vitamin C products such as the Cosrx one that she did, the Neogen Vitamin C Powder. There's just seriously so many great products out there and I am looking forward to this one as well. So I'll probably keep this one in the box because I am currently using a different vitamin C product. Um, I'll save this one for later. We definitely made a bit of a mess here, um, but thank goodness trash goes out tomorrow. Um, in my apartment complex, we have designated trash days so that it doesn't get too messy out there. So we actually save all the trash for Sunday and Wednesdays because they come by to pick it up on Mondays and Thursdays. I don't even know why I'm telling you this information, but I think in Korea, it's a thing. So yeah, I'm going to organize the trash boxes, plastics, and whatnot, um, and yeah, a lot of cleaning to do today. <laughs> All right, as mentioned previously, I have a huge shopping bag full of empties that I have collected over the past couple of months. I got in the habit of collecting empties since the very first beauty video that I ever uploaded on YouTube, which is the Innisfree Empties vlog. And I actually love filming empties because it's the best way for me to share short and sweet reviews of the product that I show. The fact that I finished the product is telling and I just, I don't know, I there are just so many great products in here and I always get excited when I toss it into my empties shopping bag. But looking at it right now, I feel very overwhelmed and so I wanted to ask you guys how I should review it for you guys. Um, should I do it as a bonus vlog on June Day? I could do an extra vlog on like a Saturday because I do want to dedicate this trash talk to an episode because there's a lot of products in here. So let me know. Otherwise, I'm just gonna recycle everything and start fresh. Um, would I save it for the main channel? I don't know yet, but there are some great products in here that I feel like a lot of you guys might even be interested in. Like, I don't know. There are some products that don't even make it to my channel. I just kind of enjoy it and I tell myself, oh, this is really good. I'll just share it in an empties video, but if it doesn't happen, then they just get recycled. So honestly, I might have to do a bonus vlog or just incorporate it into a video. I don't know, um, but it's something that I have to think about. And if you guys have any suggestions, please let me know down below because I don't even know if you guys are interested in beauty videos because Joan Day and my main channel have total different audiences actually. So. I know a few of you guys do subscribe to both, are subscribed to both, um, but for those that aren't, is this something you guys are interested in? Like reviews of some of these products? I don't know, let me know. So that's it for today's episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, I know this was a bit of a chill slash talkative one, but 
we all like these type of vlogs once in a while, right? So uh, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye! Have a joan day!